We turn to good health now. This weekend, as you know, marks the end of daylight saving time. Uh, there is an ongoing debate over whether changing the clocks is still useful at all, but for now it's unavoidable. Yeah, gaining an hour certainly sounds like a positive thing to most of us, but it's actually not all good news for your health. It's almost that time again. While experts agree falling back is generally easier on our bodies than springing forward, any time shift can cause problems. One of the biggest issues with the end of daylight saving time is losing an hour of afternoon daylight. One study found hospitals saw an 11 percent increase in complaints about symptoms of depression after we set the clocks back in the fall. To counter the loss of natural light, experts recommend seeking out more sunlight earlier in the day or using a light box to bring some of the benefits indoors. A study in Finland found hospitalizations for stroke increased nearly 10 percent after setting the clocks forward or back. But a University of Michigan study found the number of heart attacks dropped 21 percent on the Tuesday after falling back. MDOT wants to remind drivers that it can be more difficult to see people walking, running or riding bikes in the evenings after the time change. U of M researchers also found pedestrians were more at risk from a motor vehicle crash in the weeks following the return to standard time. The most dangerous time, the first hour of darkness each day. And while most enjoy that extra hour of sleep, experts say you can adjust to the time change more quickly by staying up 30 minutes later tonight and tomorrow night. Of course, here's the problem. Pets and... Babies, nine-month-olds named Basil. Don't pay any attention to what we're doing with our maneuvering of the clocks. Exactly. So if you have either, of course, you're going to be getting up when they usually do anyway. Yeah, right? I'm really worried about that. Have you had the conversation that. with Basil? Right, I've been explain. talking to him all this week. We'll see what happens. Probably going to wake up at four instead of five exactly. in the morning. All right, time now for our check of the national stories. You'll see ahead at 6:30 on NBC Nightly.